Hello my dear friends, hope you are doing well. I welcome you all in my second YouTube video on how to perform dye penetrant test. So without wasting much time, let's get started. So basically, we perform the dye penetrant test for finding any defects in the wet joints. We will be using these three sprays. First one is cleaner, which is used for cleaning the surface. The second one is penetrant that will be used after the cleaner is dried and the last one is our developer which is applied after cleaning of penetrant. So let's begin our DP test and take a look how it is performed on site. As you can see here this is the fillet weld on which we are going to perform our DP test. This uh, fillet well contains some spatter. I want you to let me know in the comment section below why it is formed during welding. We need to remove this spatter with the help of scissor. Otherwise, it will be shown as a defect in our final DP test, which of course we don't want. That's why you can see all the spatters are being removed from the weld joint. After that, the surface is thoroughly clean with the help of wire wheel to make the surface ready for the DP test. These are all the preparatory steps before the DP test. Now we will apply cleaner to the fillet weld with the help of white cloth. We will clean the weld till all the dirt, grease, oil are removed from the surface. We will wipe the joints in a single direction and ensure that the surface is very much clean and leave the surface to dry for at least 2 minutes. After the cleaner is dried. We will apply the penetrant to the fillet joint. We have to shake the can well before use so that it comes out as a spray, not in the liquid form. As you can see, we have applied the penetrant. As the name suggests, this penetrant will penetrate into tiny hole or crack present in the welding through a commonly known phenomena which you might be knowing, it's called capillary action. Now, we will leave this penetrant untouched for at least 10 minutes. After that, we will start cleaning it with the help of cleaner and white cloths. Two very important things to be noted here that we do not have to spray cleaner directly on the penetrant. And the second one is that cleaning need to be done in one direction only. We have to clean the joint thoroughly till all the penetrants has been removed from the surface. That indication will be given from the white cloths that there will be no short of pink color on the white cloths. Here you can see in the last stage we are going to apply the developer on the fillet weld from a distance of 30 to 40 centimeter. As you can see the developer is being applied on the fillet weld. Now we will take a closer look to the fillet weld to find the defects. As you can see the our welding is defect free because there is no sort of pinhole or any porosity or any kind of defects if it would be there it would be shown in pink color over the developer 